Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the vertices and foci of this ellipse that we see here. Now, the first thing you need to notice about this ellipse is that the center is 0 and 0. How do we know that? We just have x squared and uh, y squared, so that should tell you the center is 0 and 0. The next question you want to ask yourself uh, the, about focal axis. Is the focal axis the x-axis or the y-axis? And because this is uh, 16 and this is 7, 16 is larger than 7, the focal axis will be the x-axis, y equals 0 if you want to say like that. That tells me I'm going to use this form that you see here. That will allow me to find the vertices and the foces. And how do I find the uh, vertices, I'm going to take that 16, that is a square. And in order to find a, I'm going to take square root. Don't forget to put plus and minus. And that will give you plus and minus 4. Which tells us the vertices are 4 and 0. And negative 4 and 0. Now, uh, how do I find the foces? We're going to have to use this equation here, a squared. Equal b squared plus c squared. Okay, a squared is 16. B squared is the 7 I mentioned at the beginning. How do we find C squared? We're going to subtract 7. And that will give us uh, 9. So C is going to be square root of 9. Don't forget to put a plus and minus. That will be plus and minus 3. So the false are. 3 and 0, negative 3 and 0. Now, you're going to see here the picture, which I will sometimes suggest you to do it, is right here. These are the vertices. This is the focal axis, the x-axis, or the major axis, you can hear that name. And the foces are right here. This is one of them. This is the second one. Okay. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.